Welcome to Inside the Huddle on the Muskie Sports Network with Muskingum Head Football Coach Al Logan, your number one source for all the latest news on the Fighting Muskies. Coach, a heartbreaking last-minute loss at Ohio Northern on Saturday. What would you tell your team following the game? Um, you know, those are the type of games that just kind of rips your, rips your heart out. And, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think in the course of the game, we had opportunities to, to make some plays and, and uh, we miss a PAT, we miss a field goal. And, um, you know, our defense actually, at, at that point in time, uh, did a great job of, of putting us in a situation on a fourth down play. Uh, to win or lose, and unfortunately we come up on the short end. But uh, you know, at one point in time it was it was first and goal from the one, and and uh, ended up being on a, a fourth and and goal from the five. So, um, but you know, it never comes down to one play. Uh, you know, we we had opportunities to make some plays to kind of put it out of reach, and we and we didn't do so. Um, but it was heartbreaking. You know, we got two games left, and we told our kids we got to bounce back and. Um, you know, it's not about effort on this in this team. And unfortunately, we got some young kids playing for us, and uh, sometimes we make mistakes. And um, but you know, they got to bounce back, and we got two two games we think we can win. A couple of young men had nice performances at Ohio Northern. Freshman quarterback C.J. Snyder and junior wideout James Washington both had big days. Can you talk about their performances? Yeah, you know, C.J. I think with every snap that he takes is just getting better and better. And, he brings that element uh, of being able to run the ball. Uh, that gives us you know, he's six two, uh, about two hundred twenty eight pounds. So he's not he's not an easy one to bring down. And uh, deceiving, I think, probably a little bit of speed. But uh, you know, for him, as he gets he gets more reps, uh, I think you're just going to see him kind of bloom into a great quarterback for us. And um, you know, James for us is is, is had I think in three weeks. Uh, uh, twenty some catches, so he's he's doing a good job. He's he's a big he's a big time guy for us in terms of go to <coughs> going down the field, and he has the opportunity to make some big plays for us. And he did on Saturday, I think, with nine catches. Yeah, this Saturday the Muskies return home and host Capital University for Senior Day. Always a special game here on campus. Can you talk about the senior class and what they've meant to the football program? You know, you, you look at them across the board, and and uh, you know, all those kids are making uh, contributions to our program and. And have for the last uh, three or four years in a lot of different ways, but uh, it's a group of kids with great character and great work ethic, and um, you know, I love nothing more than these guys to go out uh, with a winning capital and then uh, go down to Marietta uh, and beat those guys out at their place. But uh, you know, they're just uh, a great group of guys uh, that have worked hard and, st and stayed with you know in a class of about eighty. Unfortunately, these are the 10 guys we got left, and uh, but we couldn't ask for 10 greater guys. You know, Capital arrived in New Concord riding a six-game losing streak, and during that span, the Crusaders have been struggling to score points. Uh, what will the Muskies' defense need to do to uh, keep Capital at bay? Yeah, we need to keep, keep, keep scoring, that's for sure. But uh, they, you know, they're they struggling a little bit offensively, but if you look at it from the defensive side of the ball, they're doing a nice job. You know, they scored twice defensively against Otter by really to secure that that win um, you know so uh, they're going to have to uh, you know create some turnovers for us hopefully but uh, uh, offensively you know I think we got to continue to do the good things we've done the last three weeks and moving the ball and in time of possession has been six or seven minutes difference and keep them off the field and and so on and uh, yeah we got to get after their, their, their quarterback a little bit and uh, create a little bit of havoc here. You just mentioned the offense. The Muskie offense has improved each and every game throughout this season. Uh, what will they need to do against Capital? Well, we got we got to put the ball in the end zone. We got to we got to do a better job of finishing. That's that's the bottom line. You know, we have opportunities to get the ball down there, and we did Saturday, and we came away with no points. Um, we got we got to find a little bit more uh, eagerness into us when we get the ball. That you know, inside the twenty twenty five yard line, put points on the board, and and we can't. Um, and hopefully we'll start this week. And Coach, finally, what's your key to the game this Saturday, the regular season finale for the Muskies to get a win here at home? Well, I'm going you know, to tell you right now, our kids are going to come up. They're going to play hard. They're going to be fired up. And it's our last home game, and, and uh, it's big for our seniors. And I guarantee you we're going to get everything out of those guys that, uh, that we can possibly get. Um, but, you know, no different. Play great defense. Play, play air for your offense. We haven't had many turnovers in the last two or three games, and we've got to continue to do that. Um, and we got to be a little bit better in our kicking game than what we've been the last couple of weeks. So uh, those answers never change. And, and uh, you know, once we, we do those things uh, fairly well, then we'll be okay. Thank you for joining me inside the huddle, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.